Hey everyone, I'm back again to do my stuck in shells post and I have a feeling that this might be my last one for a little while because my to be read pile of books that I need to read, ones that I have bought, is getting huge and my reading seems to have slowed down so yeah I have some books to show you this week only a few because I'm trying to restrain myself and all that jazz Maybe I should be actually going on a book buying van. Anyway, the first thing I want to show you is actually I got some swag the other week that I forgot to show in my last week video. And I joined the launch party of Jamie, Ad Jamie Admin's book, Art Life Academy, that I showed you one week. Because I was I'm part of the blog tour, which is happening in May. And... Well, she sent me some swag because she was lovely and all that jazz. First is a magnet. I think it's magnet. Magnet. And she sent me a pen and it has the cover on of Afterlife Academy. And some postcards. All the same. However, yeah. She sent me three ones, and on the back it says, "Even being dead isn't enough to get you out of maths class." And it's got her thing, and then she's also signed one for me, and it says, "To Tiffany, thank you for all your support. You're a star. Love, Jamie." So yes, I am really excited about that, and the cover for the uh, Afterlife Academy ebook is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, okay, moving onwards. The next book I got some for review from. Harper Collins Voyager, and it's one that's been um, going around lately. But this is the UK cover, and it is The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd. And this has been going around quite a bit, and everyone's been talking about it because it was released recently. And I think this particular version by Harper Voyager is being released in the of April, I think it says. And it's a retelling of something thing and it says the madness is in her blood and I'm very excited to get this actually because they sent it to me for review when I finally get round to it I will read it. The next book I got is 30 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson and this copy is a bit battered and a bit curly but it is a US copy so it's floppy. Yes 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson if I can get down to it. it says, would you follow their directions? Would you travel around the world? Would you open the envelopes one by one? Everything about Ginny will have changed this summer and it's all because of the 13 little blue envelopes. And I've been wanting this book for a while and I finally got it. <laughs> anyway, the next book I got is The Betrayal of Natalie Hargrove by Lauren Kate. And I've not read anything by Lauren Kate before, although I do actually have the first two books in her Fallen series. But I have yet to read them because I'm way behind when I got them a couple of years ago. But yeah, this looks really good, and it was on my Friday finds one week, and I think it looks fantastic. I think this book looks amazing, and I really want to read it soon. The next book I got, I've also wanted to get for a while, and so many people were talking about it, and they were like, oh, this is such a great book, and I was like, I want it! But I could never find it for a good price, because, as I say, pretty much every week, I'm a bit of a cheapskate when it comes to books, and I don't want to pay full price for them, unless I really have to. So I like buying used copies, plastic recycles, and all that. And it is Shift by M. Bailey. And first of all, I want to say this cover is awesome. I'm not going to read all that's on the back because it's too long. But I will read the top little bit and it says, There are two things everyone knew about Miranda Bailey before she even started at our school. The first was that, the, the first was that she had no parents. They were dead. And the second was that they were dead because Miranda killed them. And I think this looks great. It's a dark, it's, it's a dark gripping thriller with a sh with shock twist, a gorgeous romance and heart racing climax. And this looks really good, and I really can't wait to start it. This video really isn't going well. Anyway, the next book I got is Shadowlands by uh, Alison Noel. Noel, Noel. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, this is the third book in the Immortal series, and I have read the first two, and I finished them a while back but I forgot when and I'm only just now getting my hands on the third book and I'm loving this series so far it's great and I think I managed to get this just for £1.50 and I was like wow that's great because it's hardback as well 
She always believed he was her destiny, but what did fate have other plans? And I'm really excited about this book and to continue on this series. Anyway, the next book I got and the final book that I got this week is Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne. And I've been wanting this book for ages and ages and ages and I found out about it before the release date um, months ago by Booknerd Canada who mentioned it in her haul and I'm really excited to have this. I paid £5 for this hardback copy and it said it was in very good condition. Unfortunately they lied and it is ripped and creased and kind of nasty at the bottom. I had to sellotape it there there and there. The only thing is, the back's in okay condition, but it's the front that I like. So, yeah, and I would have sent it back because I spent that money on it. However, it's a lot of work to send it back, and I really wanted the book. Anyway, I'm really excited about actually getting my hands on this book, even if it is a little beat up and not in the condition they said it was. Um, it looks really fantastic, and I really like kind of post apocalyptic books and end of the world, all sorts of books. So, yes. I'm very, very excited. Anyway, those are the books I got this week. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as I said earlier, I may actually not be doing book hauls again for a little while because of my obviously awful book buying habits and the fact that I have so many I need to read still. So, if I don't post for a few weeks, I'm sorry. But there will be wrap-ups and hopefully I'm going to try and do some tag videos and maybe some other book-related posts. So, yes. Um, I've also got a bunch of ebooks this week, so if you'd like to see what ones I got, then go check out my blog post, which I'll leave the link in the down bar down below. And I hope you all had a great week in books. I think mine's been pretty darn good. Um, happy reading. Bye!